Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Techno Blub. My name is Ivan Wilkins. And my name is Maurice John. And in this episode, we're going to be all talking about the Apple event, the launching of the new Apple phones, Apple Watch, etc. Well, Christmas for me is in September. <laughs> yeah, we knew this is Maurice's favorite time of the year. Five of them of the year. It's like Christmas. Come on. His expectation has been great. I know. <laughs> but oh gosh, I feel like mm -hmm. I don't know. I felt like I need, I needed something more, but I'm guessing that there are more products coming. Um like the the tablet, the iPad update, and I'm hoping, hoping that they update the, the lower end of the, the laptop. Spectrum because they only updated the eighteen hundred dollars and above, which is quite strange. So that's the professional grade laptops. So I was hoping to have the watch, the phone, the iPad, the Macs updated, but I guess they might put that down into October. There's a ten grand set up. Come on, you're killing me here. But oh, man. so what went down? Tell All me. right. So in this episode, we're gonna focus on the phones that they released, uh -huh. which is the. 10s Max and the 10s, 10S. <laughs> and the 10R. And the, and the 10R. Yeah, yeah, those, those names are. I try to figure out what the R stands for. Though. Um, I don't. Is I'm it not 10? Sure. I was. It would have been 10C. It would have been 10 cheap. But 10 R, maybe 10 regular. <laughs> I don't know. I try to figure it out. I can't figure it out. So, what's new? What has what has happened? What's happening? Um, well, same old chassis <laughs> uh, as the last year's iPhone 10. Uh -huh. uh, same camera, slightly different AI involved, but mm. same camera nonetheless. Mm. Um, same screen. Well, every year they do incremental updates. Well, let's 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 pre let's let's back it up. Right? Back it up. This is an S upgrade, and I believe that because. In the past three years or so, Apple has not really deviated from their, their design. So the iPhone 6 looked very much like the iPhone 6s, that looks very much like the iPhone 7, that looked very much like the iPhone 8. So it's actually four years. Four years we have been getting the same design. Now what we were accustomed to was the 3, then the 3s look a bit different, and then the 4, big change, then the S. The S was just an upgrade and then we expected big bang for the new the new number. But for the past four years we've basically been getting the same design. So now we are back on an S update and it's just basically internal upgrades. So the external is just basically borrowing from the anniversary update, the 10, and just improving on it. Of course, it's still a thousand dollars. It's still a thousand dollars. Starting at a thousand dollars. Starting at a thousand dollars. Yeah. The X, the ten R, thankfully, is seven fifty. But the ten, it ain't worth it. I don't man. know. I it ain't worth that seven fifty at all. Let, let, let's back it up one more time. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the the the, the, yeah. the flagships. All right. So you have the flagship and the regular. Flagship. All right. The Max and the S. The Max and the S. So right. what what is new about the Max and the S? We have the neural engine. Apple talked a lot about the processors. Um, every year, I have come to love and appreciate Apple's time and dedication into making quality processors and graphics. That, I believe, will pay dividends in the future when it comes to augmented reality, virtual reality when 5G comes on stream and it is a prominent technology I believe Apple processors are well positioned to take advantage of those new technologies. This year they moved to 7 nanometers, so it's an even more efficient yes. processor. Yep. So some of the batteries of the phones have actually gotten smaller, but you're getting the same battery life. So that is applaudable. Fine. The next big thing is the neural engine is much more capable. The graphics and the processor is not a huge leap, a huge jump, but taking in consideration that last year's iPhone were faster than this year crop of Android processors, it's still still ahead. But it looks like AI is taking center stage. 
it is clear that Apple is feeling some pressure from Google. Google basically did the same thing with one camera as they did with two cameras. Better actually. Better actually. Yeah. I, I am an Apple fanboy, but I will acknowledge that the Google Pixel, awesome phone. Awesome phone. So, what are the other changes? What else are we talking about here? So we have the processor. Yep. We have the cameras, which have been slightly upgraded with Smart HDR. So they upgraded the camera. Um, so they have Smart HDR now, so it takes more shots. Um, so as soon as you open the app, it starts caching, it starts taking photos, it starts taking multiple shots. So what we're seeing here is to compensate for the fact that there's a small sensor size, artificial intelligence is being used in such a very beautiful way to now compensate for the fact that the glass is never going to be a DSLR glass. You're never going to get this massive glass on the back of your phone. So there must be artificial intelligence to compensate for that fact. So what they're doing is now taking several shots, even as soon as you open the camera, they start taking shots, take caching it. So when you click on that shutter button, it's instantaneous. So they're finding clever ways to, to compensate for, for the, the hardware itself. Now, I would love to see even Google and Apple work together on a processor and a phone and a camera system. Why, Maurice? Why? Why? Come on. Why? Even Google is much better at software than Apple. It is a known fact. We see it with Siri. Siri cannot compete with Google's offering. And we, they started this AI thing. They started this personal assistant and they have been lapped because they are not a good a software company as they are a hardware company. Hardware, put your money in the bank. Good processor, quality phone, but when it comes to software, they're clearly taking some hits. They're not producing as good as quality software as, 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 as Google is. So, what else has changed? Besides that, I mean, the, the size? Besides. Besides that, I mean, oh yeah, the size. Size. But I mean, the Max is a much bigger, but the the uh, the S hmm. is the same size as the last year's yes, model. Yes, it's right? the same size. So I mean, nothing to talk about, man. Oh, Come on, man. Like this I am guy. so unimpressed with this the, um, guy. <laughs> like, I can't wait until October rolls in, and Microsoft <laughs> have this Surface event. Mm. And we come behind the camera because he's <laughs> never Apple could bring out Jesus on stage and he's not impressed. Uh, well, but no, I'm really I am, not impressed. I know, I know. I mean the, I'm all about um the value for your money. Right. And definitely you're not getting the value of your money from the Apple products, especially the phones. <laughs> uh, it's it's now in the luxury brand where you're simply paying for the name. Yeah. You're not paying for the for the item that you actually get it, you're just paying for the name. That's it. Yeah. You're not getting anything for that money. <laughs> like seriously. You are getting something. Come on, man. But I think one of the biggest magic tricks Apple had pulled off in the last decade is justifying spending a thousand dollars on a smartphone. Justifying spending a thousand and giving fancy names to regular stuff. You <laughs> yeah, understand me? An LCD screen is now called a liquid <laughs> display. Oh, oh man. come on, you gotta <laughs> think. Apple realized. And, and, and Apple realized that if you give something a fancy come name, on. it sounds cooler, uh. it sounds good to talk about. So they gotta give it good cool names. Come on. <laughs> it, the bionic, you have to add bionic on the <laughs> processor. You gotta do these things. Yeah. But it, all in all, if you buy an iPhone, you're getting a quality product. Yeah, you are getting a quality product. No, hands down, you're getting an excellent you're product. You're getting an excellent product. Yeah. The, 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 the iPhone that, if I do consider buying a new iPhone, I will buy the XR. Why the, nah. Yeah. Why not? Why would you want to buy the If iPhone? I'm gonna get an iPhone, uh, I'm getting the... The Max? No, not the Max, no, no the, the S. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I want the it. R is way too expensive for for what it gives you. No man. Yeah man. Seven fifty. You realize the screen on the R is the same screen resolution 
back in oh, 2003. Yes, it's 720. <laughs> I do, I that's the only gripe. Like you can't watch, Yo, you can't no, watch man. 1080p on a $700 phone. That's ridiculous. Yeah, man. that's ridiculous. That that is some ridiculous. That's for true. No, man. But no. boy, is a no. is a pickle. Is a pickle. No, is a pickle. Spend the money if you if you're gonna buy it, the new iPhone. Spend the money and buy the S. Yeah, I feel if like you have that, if you have fifteen hundred to throw it, you can buy the Max Max. <laughs> Max, Max. <laughs> I just right. had a brain freeze. They're like, don't think about it. You yeah. can't watch ten eighty. No, you cannot watch ten eighty. On the XR. On the XR. No, that's crazy. And that's seven hundred and fifty dollars in twenty eighteen. Oh gosh. Anyway, next month we have the Google event, so we'll see what Google brings out. Yeah. But I believe that. It's a good, it's a good, the, the higher end model is a good buy. Um, you have the new gold color, um, the screens are amazing as usual. Apple always make good screens. The battery life has gotten better because of the, 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 the advancement in the processor. Um, you're getting, what I would love to see is not, I don't depend on Apple to produce good software. I depend on developers to say, okay, Apple just introduced a neural engine, what am I gonna do with that? What am I going to do to make my mobile application much better to capitalize on all of that AI power? I expect um, augmented reality to get better. I might even start playing Pokemon if I do buy one of these. You might see Pokemon just get really cool again because you could do so much with the neural engine or uh, some new thing. So Apple is, is creating a platform so that developers can take advantage of that platform and do great things. At this point, we're just ranting right now. <laughs> but Apple did showcase um, a nice AI app, the uh, basketball app, yes. which is pretty that cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was really nice. At least it something impressed you, yeah, yeah, it, it impressed me. <laughs> <laughs> it showed, showed me the level of advancement yes. in the AI that is yes. capable in these phones, yes. you know? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point. That's the only thing I was impressed yeah, about. Yeah, you know? so I, yeah. I, I, I have come not to it. Like, if you look at Android 9, and you look at where Android came from, you could see a steady growth every year. Right now, Everybody been crying out for a redesign a few years ago. They did the redesign, but what are we waiting for? They need some sort of life in, in iOS, some excitement. I don't feel the, the little nooksy stop drops. I don't feel it, but hey, that just went up again. But I have faith that Apple has such a good developer presence that we're going to see amazing, amazing, amazing experiences as a result of the hardware that they're providing. And that is what I look forward to. So movie producers could, well, junior movie producers like, you know, you come out of college, you instead of buying a $4,000 camera, you could buy an iPhone and augmented reality could allow you to splice in characters and make a movie right on your phone. That is what I'm seeing. The power of the iPhone is bringing a lot of power from the top end spectrum to consumers' hands so that they could do great things. YouTubers, you don't have a big budget for a four thousand dollar camera, you get an iPhone and that's all you need. They have the better mics, so you could have the three dimensional mic stuff, so you could go out and record video outside. All of these things will enable people to do great things with a new iPhone. So. As much as we might not be so impressed, there is a there is a portion of the market that will be impressed. Small portion. Small portion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks. So that has been another episode of Techno Blog. Join us next time as we will be talking about the Apple Watch. Alright? Best thing at the event. <laughs> Best thing. Alright, All right. have a good one. Peace.